preeclampsia is primarily characterized by which of the following features? Show options are hypotension and proteinuria, hypertension and glycosuria, hypertension and proteinuria, or edema and anemia. The right answer is C, that is hypertension and proteinuria. Preeclampsia is defined as a new onset hypertension with proteinuria after 20 weeks of gestation. It indicates abnormal placental function and maternal endothelial dysfunction. Question number 2. Preeclampsia usually develops after how many weeks of gestation? Show options are 12 weeks, 20 weeks, 28 weeks or 36 weeks. The correct answer is B that is 20 weeks. The hallmark of preeclampsia is it is appearance after 20 weeks of pregnancy in a previously normotensive woman. Occurrence before 20 weeks usually indicates molar pregnancy. Question number 3. Which organ system is most affected in preeclampsia? Show options are cardiac system, renal system, respiratory system or musculoskeletal system. The correct answer is B that is renal system. The kidneys are mainly affected leading to reduced glomerular filtration and proteinuria. Renal involvement is a key diagnostic component. Question number 4. The only definitive cure for preeclampsia is bed rest, antihypertensive drugs, magnesium sulfate therapy or delivery of the baby and placenta. The right answer is D that is delivery of the baby and placenta. Preeclampsia completely resolves only after delivery because the placenta is the primary source of the disease pathology. Question number 5. Which drug is considered the drug of choice to prevent seizures in preeclampsia? Phenytoin, diazepam, magnesium sulfate or phenobarbital. The correct answer is C that is magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate stabilizes the central nervous system and prevents eclamptic seizures effectively. It also improves maternal and fetal outcomes. Question number 6. Severe eclampsia is diagnosed when BP is equal to or above 140 by 90, 150 by 100. 160 by 110 or 170 by 100? The right answer is 160 by 110. Blood pressure 160 by 110 mmHg indicates severe disease and requires urgent management to prevent complications like eclampsia and stroke. Question number 7. Severe preeclampsia can lead to which respiratory complication? Your sure options are pneumonia, pulmonary edema, asthma or, or pleural effusion. The right answer is B that is pulmonary edema. Increased vascular permeability and fluid overload result in pulmonary edema and respiratory distress. Question number 8. Which symptom is an early warning sign of worsening preeclampsia? Show options are fatigue, blood vision, back pain, or constipation. The right answer is B, that is blood vision. Visual disturbances indicate cerebral or retinal vasospasm, which precedes eclampsia. Such symptoms require immediate attention. Question number 9. The components of HELLP syndrome include all except? 
hemolysis elevated liver enzymes low platelet count or high hemoglobin the right answer is d that is high hemoglobin h e l l p stand for hemolysis elevated liver enzymes and low platelet count it is a severe variant of preeclampsia requiring urgent delivery question number 10 a sign of magnesium sulfate toxicity is hypertension hyperreflexia hyperflexia or muscle twitching the correct answer is c that is hyperflexia loss of deep tendon reflexes is an early sign of magnesium toxicity it indicates excessive cns depression and requires immediate action question number 11 dear friends welcome back to dear competitive exams today we are continuing our midwifery series a complete step-by-step -step journey through all the important topics that will help you score high in your nursing exams and today you're watching the fifth episode of this series that is pre-eclampsia during pregnancy if you haven't watched our previous four episodes on this pregnancy series those are anatomy of female reproductive system physiological changes during pregnancy and pregnancy test and antenatal care in midwifery do check them out after the session to understand the full concept clearly so let's continue with the next set of important mcqs the antidote for magnesium sulfate toxicity is sodium bicarbonate calcium gluconate potassium chloride or calcium carbonate the right answer is b that is calcium gluconate 10 percent calcium gluconate 10 ml iv slowly reverse the respiratory and cardiac depression caused by magnesium sulfate overdose question number 12 which laboratory finding supports the diagnosis of preeclampsia? Show options are decreased serum creatinine, elevated uric acid, low bilirubin, or high hemoglobin. The right answer is B that is elevated uric acid. Elevated serum uric acid results from reduced renal clearance and is a sensitive indicator of endothelial damage in preeclampsia. Question number 13. The most common symptom reported by a woman with preeclampsia is nausea, headache, dizziness, or palpitation. The right answer is B that is headache. Persistent or severe headaches suggest cerebral vasospap and impending eclampsia. It must not be ignored. Question number 14. Eclampsia is defined as preeclampsia with convulsions, hypertension without edema, hypertension in first trimester, or proteinuria without hypertension. The correct answer is A that is preeclampsia with convulsions. Eclampsia represents the progression of preeclampsia to include seizures marking a life threatening obstetric emergency. Question number 15 Which anti hypertensive medication is safest for pregnant women? Show options are Lisinopril, Labetalol, or spironolactone the correct answer is b that is labetalol labetalol effectively lowers bp without affecting uteroplacental perfusion and it is widely used in pregnancy induced hypertension question number 16 therapeutic serum magnesium level during mgso4 therapy should be 2 to 3 milli equivalent per liter, 4 to 7 milli equivalent per liter, 8 to 10 milli equivalent per liter, or 
10 to 12 milli equivalent per liter? The correct answer is B that is 4 to 7 milli equivalent per liter. This level provides anti-convulsant protection without causing toxicity or respiratory depression. Question number 17. The classic triad of preeclampsia includes hypertension, proteinuria and edema, fever, edema and jaundice, glycosuria, anemia and headache or edema, vomiting and back pain. The correct answer is A that is hypertension, proteinuria and edema. These three features together strongly suggest preeclampsia though edema is no longer essential for diagnosis. Question number 18. Preeclampsia increases the risk of which obstetric complication? Two options are placenta previa, placental abruption, fetal macrosomia or twin to twin transfusion. The correct answer is B that is placental abruption. Sudden rise in blood pressure can lead to placental detachment causing heavy bleeding and fetal distress. Question number 19. Which of the following is not a complication of preeclampsia? Two options are eclampsia, DIC, polysidmia or HELP syndrome. Correct answer is C that is polysidmia. Polysidmia is unrelated to preeclampsia. The condition is more associated with hemolysis and low platelets. Question number 20. Which test is essential to confirm proteinuria in preeclampsia? Is it urine sugar test, urine albumin test, blood urea test or blood sugar test? The correct answer is B that is urine albumin test. Detection of albumin in urine using dip stick or 24 hour collection confirms proteinuria and aids in diagnosis. Question number 21 And my dear friends, don't forget to follow our Facebook page Dear Competitive Exams where we post daily quizzes, updates and exam tips to keep you fit for upcoming exams. The link is in description. Visual disturbances in preeclampsia occur due to retinal edema and vasospasm, vitamin A deficiency, hyperglycemia or hypotension. The correct answer is A that is retinal edema and vasospasm. Vasospasm reduces retinal blood flow causing blood vision scotoma and temporary blindness. Question number 22. Which factor increases the risk of developing preeclampsia? Two options are multi-parity, obesity, low maternal age or low sodium intake. The correct answer is B that is obesity. Obesity contributes to vascular inflammation and insulin resistance, both of which predispose to preeclampsia. Question number 23. In severe preeclampsia, urine output typically becomes increased, decreased, normal or absent. The right answer is B that is decreased. Oliguria lesser than 500 ml in 24 hours occurs due to renal vasospasm and decreased perfusion. Question number 24. The best site to assess deep tendon reflexes during MgSO4 therapy is biceps, triceps, patellar, achilles. Right answer is C that is patellar. The patellar reflex is the most sensitive and easily monitored indicator of magnesium toxicity. Question number 25. Which laboratory finding is typically in HELP syndrome? Elevated platelets, elevated liver enzymes, 
नॉर्मल बिलोरुबिन और हाई हेमोग्लोबिन द राइट आंसर इज बी दट इज एलिवेटेड लिवर एंजाइम्स लिवर सेल डैमेज एलिवेट्स ए एस टी एंड ए एल टी लेवल्स रिफ्लेक्टिंग सीवियर एंडोथीलियल एंड हेपैटिक इंजुरी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स सीवियर प्री इक्लैम्सिया कैन लीड टू विच रेस्पिरेटरी कॉम्प्लिकेशन शो ऑप्शन सा निमोनिया पलमोनरी एडेमा अजमा और प्लूरल इफ्यूजन द राइट आंसर इज बी दट इज पलमोनरी एडेमा इंक्रीज वैस्कुलर पर मैबिलिटी एंड फ्लूड ओवरलोड रिजल्ट इन पलमोनरी एडेमा एंड रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन द प्रिफर्ड आईवी फ्लूड फॉर प्री इक्लैम्सिया मैनेजमेंट इज फाइव परसेंट डेक्सट्रोज नॉर्मल सेलाइन रिंजेस लैक्टेट और हाफ नॉर्मल सेलाइन द राइट आंसर इज सी दट इज रिंजर्स लैक्टेट रिंजर्स लैक्टेट मेंटेन्स फ्लूड बैलेंस विदाउट ओवर हाइड्रेशन मिनिमाइजिंग रिस्क ऑफ पलमोनरी एडिमा क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट दिस टाइप ऑफ एडिमा शुड रेज सस्पिशन ऑफ प्री इक्लैम्सिया शो ऑप्शन सा हैंड एडिमा एंकल एडिमा फेशियल एडिमा और फूड एडिमा द राइट आंसर इज सी दट इज फेशियल एडिमा पफिननेस ऑफ फेस एंड आई लिड्स इज एन अर्ली इंडिकेटर ऑफ एबनॉर्मल फ्लूड रिटेंशन असोसिएटेड विद द प्री इक्लैम्सिया क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन विस टेस्ट इज कॉमनली यूज टू एसेसेस फीटल वेलबींग इन प्री इक्लैम्प्टिक मदर्स ऑप्शन सा एमनियोसेंटिस नॉन स्ट्रेस टेस्ट एन एस टी एम आर आई स्कैन और चेस्ट एक्सरे द राइट आंसर इज बी दट इज नॉन स्ट्रेस टेस्ट एन एस टी एन एस टी एवेल्युएट्स फीटल हार्ट रेट वेरिएबिलिटी इन रिस्पॉन्स टू मोमेंट्स डिटेक्टिंग अर्ली साइंस ऑफ हाइपोक्सिया क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी मैग्नेशियम सल्फेट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन मस्ट बी स्टॉप्ड but when blood pressure rises headache subsides deep tendon reflexes disappear or urine output increases the correct answer is c that is deep tendon reflexes disappear absence of reflexes indicates magnesium toxicity and impending respiratory arrest treatment must be stopped immediately great work dear students We have successfully completed the fifth episode of our midwifery series, that is preeclampsia during pregnancy. So comment your score out of thirty. So if you don't miss the next video, it is going to be very interesting and important for your upcoming exams. And my dear friends, if you found today's session helpful, then do like, share, and subscribe to dear competitive exams. And my dear friends. Don't forget to follow our Facebook page Dear Competitive Exams where we post daily quizzes updates and exam tips to keep you fit for upcoming exams the link is in description so please go and follow our page so friends keep learning keep growing and i will see you in the next part until that take care